Hurricanes have been growing far more disastrous in recent years, and global warming is to blame. With increasing rises in climate temperature, hurricanes, natural forces fueled by heat, can only grow more aggressive the hotter they get. As these tropical cyclones thrive off warmth in the atmosphere, wet air acts as Mother Nature's arch nemesis, ready and waiting to add fury to an already furious storm. Here are eight reasons why hurricanes are more aggressive than ever, and how they're only getting worse. Eight, they're increasing in intensity. Recent studies have shown that the most violent of hurricanes, occurring in some regions of the North Atlantic, have increased in intensity over the past two to three decades. Research has shown an astonishing 45 to 87 percent increase in the frequency of Category 4 and 5 hurricanes, numbers that indicate how severe a hurricane is, with 4 and 5 being the absolute max. Due to global warming and intensified storms, scientists predict Category 6 cyclones in our near future. 7. Everything is hotter. Since warm air holds more moisture, climate change has significantly increased the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, leading to far wetter hurricanes that, in turn, unleash more extreme rainfall. So, the warmer and wetter the air, the more fuel for an already aggravated force of destruction. The scientific facts connecting climate change to hurricanes is strong as it's easy to see how warmer oceans only serve to fuel more extreme storms. 6. Wind speeds at an all-time high Hurricanes are categorized based on wind speed, and a storm with winds exceeding 74 miles per hour is marked as a Category 1 hurricane. Storms with winds stronger than 111 miles per hour are considered major hurricanes and are marked with a category 3 or higher. Yet, wind speed is only one factor leading to a hurricane's impact. Others include its path, size, the structure of the storm, amount of rain, length of time, and vulnerable areas the hurricane crosses paths with. It's easy to see from our most recent storms that these indestructible forces of nature are only getting worse with time. Eight of the ten costliest hurricanes in the world, due to wind speed and force, have all occurred since 2004. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video, and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of future releases. 5. Sea levels are rising. Sea levels will make future coastal storms, and hurricanes in particular, much more damaging. Scientists have determined that the general sea level is expected to rise by 1 to 4 feet during the next century, which can only serve to amplify coastal flooding. Let's look at Hurricane Sandy, a devastating blow to New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut in 2012, which racked up $65 billion in damages due to flooding. Frequency and intensity have shown to increase from about 11 tropical storms annually between 1966 and 2009 to 16 annually between 2000 and 2013 alone. The increase in frequency is connected with the rise in North Atlantic sea levels, an unfortunate result of climate change. 4. Sea temps are warming Warmer sea surface temperatures have a devastating impact on tropical storm wind speeds serving to deliver more damage, if they make land contact. Also, warmer seas mean more precipitation, with rainfall rates during hurricanes projected to increase by 20%. As shown by Hurricane Harvey's five feet of rain in Texas in 2017, this can be quite devastating to a community at large. We're in trouble then, considering heat in the ocean is a hurricane's primary source of fuel and the world's oceans have absorbed more than 90% of the warming in the past 50 years, when water vapor condenses into cloud droplets, the result is a release of heat into the atmosphere, and the exact source that a hurricane feeds off most. Take our recent hit in the Bahamas, for example, 
as Hurricane Dorian developed water one degree Celsius warmer than normal. What does this mean for a violent storm? An abundance of unwanted energy. 3. They're beginning to stall. Hurricane Dorian's strike, which proved so devastating, was based on the way it lingered over the Bahamas. After beating down on an area for more than 40 hours, the storm finally swerved north as a Category 2 storm. This event is known as stalling, and something that has become much more common in the past three quarters of a century. North Atlantic hurricanes have been shown to slow at a rate of 17% since 1944, while annual coastal rainfall from hurricanes has increased by 40% in the same period. Tropical cyclones worldwide are steadily slowing over time, which means more time to hover over a particular area and more damage to the communities within. As longer time over a region allows for wind to build, it also causes water to surge and more rainfall pulverizing a district. Hurricane Harvey, which dumped more than five feet of rain over Texas in 2017, as well as Florence last year and Dorian now, all fit this pattern. 2. There may be waves around it. Our best bet is to evaluate how much worse this recent disaster was made as a result of human-caused warming, and how likely it is that this level of catastrophe will occur again. In the meantime, the following ways can reduce the risk of these strong storms in the future. The reduction of greenhouse gas emissions will soften global warming and seek to regulate heat in the atmosphere. Ways in which communities can curb impacts caused by hurricanes are to preserve coastal wetlands and reefs, which help absorb storm surges. Efforts to help replenish beaches and improve infrastructure that protects against coasts, such as strengthening seawalls, can aid in storm resilience. Elevating buildings to reduce floor damage can help. Designing structures to better withstand high winds and debris can prevent damage. And preparing prior to storms, such as boarding up of windows, clearing property, and having a steady evacuation plan. Such precautions can save us from death and destruction, as models have helped scientists predict that Category 4 and 5 hurricanes in the North Atlantic could become nearly twice as common over the next century as a result of climate change. 1. The proof is in the present. The recent Category 5 hurricane seems to fit a trend. The storm has managed to match or break records for its intensity and for its creeping pace over the Bahamas. Dorian's appearance marked 2019 as the fourth straight year in which a Category 5 tropical storm formed in the Atlantic, the world's longest streak to date. Shocking as the storm has been, climate scientists say it's only a minor indicator of what future hurricanes will look like as the climate continues to warm. Dorian's rapid intensification was unprecedented for a hurricane that was already so deadly. In the span of nine hours, for example, its peak winds increased from 150 miles per hour to 180 miles per hour. As it just spun and spun over the same spot, a stalling, spinning spectacle of destruction. Do you feel like natural disasters are getting worse and worse? Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.